Hi there, I'm Ash Wamsley. I'm the Countryside Manager here at Ashdown Forest. We get a few questions around grazing, particularly around cattle grazing on the forest. And to understand this more, we have two systems in place. We have our commoners grazing, where commoners have a legal historic right to turn out their cattle and sheep onto the forest. And we have our own grazing, particularly around 30 head of Rigget Galloway cattle, which undertake our conservation grazing. Now, what do I mean by conservation grazing? If we look out behind us, you can see this open area of heathland is being pretty well dominated by one grass species and that is purple moor grass or melinia. Now what melinia does is it creates thick tussocks and it also drops every year thick layers of leaf mulch. Now what this leaf mulch can do is it can enrich the soil meaning it's less viable for the heathland plants and it can also smother the areas meaning plants are less able to grow up through. What cows are brilliant at is they come along with their tongues, they tear up the new growth, and with their heavy hooves, getting in there and creating bare ground. This bare ground is not only good for the plants, but it is essential for invertebrates and the wildlife as well. So this is really exciting for us because we'll be trialing our no fence technology. This technology means we don't have to put up electric fences and we can use GPS collars and a GPS software in our office where we can draw virtual fence lines to keep the cows contained within one area. The cows can approach these virtual fence lines and when they get within a set distance, it plays them a little tune and the cows know that they, they have to turn around and go back into the enclosure. If they go too far, it will then give them a small pulse, which is less than what a standard electric fence would give them. The fence line will not be enclosing any fire rides or paths, so if you see any cows on those footpaths, please let us know so we can get them back in. It's been trialled elsewhere in the country, places like National Trust, Epping Forest, and they've had some really good success with it. This year, we'll be using our no fence technology only here at Broadstone. We are just below Linton's car park and Broadstone car park, very close to the visitor centre. If you've got any questions about this technology, or any questions about livestock grazing, please do get in contact with us at the conservators at ashdownforest.org and I'll be happy to meet with you or discuss this further with you.